And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Thresh. This is a deck we played a few days ago and uh, really liked it. So bringing it back, this was, um, you know, bringing all these brand new Mage Seeker cards that they really changed after the, the last update. We got Mage Seeker Persuader, the Investigator, and the Insider. And um, playing them, in, you know, playing them with, of course, Lux. But playing them with Shadow Isles, where Shadow Isles gives us Thresh um, and Rekindler, because uh, Rekindler is pretty awesome with Lux. And so, you know, kind of pairing Lux with Rekindler, but same thing with Thresh. And then, you know, we have some top-end cards. The last time, whenever we played this, we did play three Vengeance. But Vengeance, you know, Vengeance is a seven-mana spell, so that's good for the uh, Mage Seekers. But it's just pretty, you know, it is expensive for what it does, just being a one-for-one. -one. And so instead, we're still going to play one Vengeance, but I want to try having a Ruination in the deck if we need that, and then also a Harrowing that we can use at the top end. Um, but, you know, like this is kind of a little bit more mid-rangey than, than, like, the really super spell-heavy, you know, we're focused more on creatures with having, you know, Tracker and Protector. Um, you know, even Vanguard Sergeant that creates a four Demacia for us to be a six mana spell. So, you know, we get to, to focus on um, our creatures a little bit more. But anyway, let's get to how it goes. We have uh, we have some ways to, to get back up. You know, like we're, we have uh, ranked down quite a bit today. That, that last 05 didn't help. Mage Seeker Thresh is going to save us. So let's pick up the wins. Okay. And here we go. So I think this game, um, I don't think I want to play Tracker. I think this game I'm just going to play Remembrance on a turn three. That's the worst one to hit whenever a creature is not dying. Dang. This turn went very bad. Very bad. Yeah, that, that turn went very bad. Wish we would have been able to purify it first. But I like our, our next few turns. You know, we'll be able to go Thresh into Lux, into Rekindler. What did they have die? Callista, right? So they just put two Callistas in their hand? Into battle with hearts aglow. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not just a free attack, because I attack, they block with a 5-5, five, five, they play, you know, a Vile Feast or whatever. You know, that does, that gets rid of the barrier.
All the card names are, are listed in French for you. Hey, Yed. Hi. Oh, I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to mention... Message you, but yeah, I did not need thumbnails today. Um... I guess I'm. I guess I just make some blocks. Because of course I'm going to use this final spark to uh, kill Callista. Wow, I really should- I should have blocked with the tracker. I didn't really think about that of like... Oh, I guess- well, no, my final- alright, final spark's gonna kill Callista, so we're good. Yeah, because now Thresh will level up, so we attack with Thresh, we put in another Lux. So in French, the harrowing is la nuit d'or, de l'or. Oh yeah, they had the backup Callista we knew about. That's fine. I'm gonna block this little tracker. We can do this. Yeah, I've seen the Night of Horror. So that's the harrowing in French, the Night of Horror. Perfect. Oh, right. I for I honestly just forgot about Thresh having Challenger. <laughs> Whoops, yeah. I could have pulled Callista. But, to be fair, we need them to have have creatures in play for these things though, right? Like these final sparks have to kill something. Yeah, we got lasers. All right, Lux will die. Yeah, that's the fourth Callista. Lux will die, but we can rekindle her it back. Reeks of foul 
Basically, do they have ruination or not? Will they have ruination? So I could go the like your. I could play Rekindler for Demacia, and they are very dead. If they don't have Ruination. I think like if they had Ruination, they probably would have just played it the previous turn, right? Yeah, Detain would give us a laser. So, could have detained my own... Unit, you know, like detain a thrash. But yeah, I, d I didn't think they had ruination, and so I was going to very kill them. All right, first first one in the books. I need to get puppy cam. These dogs are just, just hang out in their bed and snore. Karma Lux. So the problem with Karma Lux is they deny remembrance. Life is worse. Carmax Ninja, 36 awesome months. Thank you so much. Thanks for getting the, keeping that resub going. How's everything going at your at your place? Staying safe and everything. I know you're you know excited about that new Call of Duty that you were talking about. How's still playing that a bunch? All right, good. No deny. So judgment is really the only sweeper that we need to be worrying ourselves with. Contain the arcane. Okay, you went down to your parents. Okay. <laughs> they have a bigger place and a pool. Yeah, like that sounds awesome. That's a that's a good place to kind of quarantine up in. So yeah, Call of Duty is currently your life. You're playing it with with your friends. Nice. Will you comply, or are you complete? <laughs> See, I like 
I like games like Call of Duty with like the campaign mode. I don't really like the I don't like the online play mode too much. Of like you know, like the huge like online battle royale stuff like that, versus and everything. I like the story campaign mode. Uh, for those kind of games, what do I want to do? So I want to make double tracker mage seeker investigator I could see them playing you know six mana spell here turning this on having a four three challenger nope which I guess makes playing the fleet feather tracker not so smart. Yep. My cause is righteous. You can't outrun justice. I will play my part. Okay. Well, they only killed that thing. Control the mage to control their magic. Okay, let's see. Do I play Lux or do I just go straight to attacks? I think I just go straight to attacks. Strike down the corrupt. Yeah. I don't life, there is hope. Yeah, I don't know if there's like ways to play like I don't know if it's possible to play multiplayer campaign with with those kind of games these days. Uh let's see. So basically so, you know, I'm either playing Lux or I'm detaining the Karma. Those are the two options. Detain Karma. I don't want them getting the free spells, even though they could get Karma back. With, you know, like a Will of Ionia or something. Keep them from getting a, <clears throat> a free spell for as long as I can. Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. So they still have four mana. They could have deny. I sure hope they don't. I trust my instincts. I want to cast ruination. Sure hope they don't have deny. Come on, let it happen. Oh, 
better than that. Wish I had the mana to play for Demacia as well. Or, or, you know, like, remember it's like one of these six mana spells for the Luxes. But I do not. Attacking means I'm dead to judgment. It's not a great spot to be. Dead to ju dead to judgment, that is. How would we still win if they have judgment? Judgment gets cast twice. So the first one would kill the barrier, the second one would kill my, my creatures. <clears throat> my plan is having the Luxes win with final sparks that's my plan Cease. Yeah, so now if they play Judgment, we'll have the, the Vengeance. But 
feel like I played around that judgment very well. Awesome. Who know? Thank you, Zabanes. Yeah, that was that was a good game right there. I've been hiding my light too long. <laughs> Lux's level up animation after the game's over. Yeah, I think we played that one really well. You know how we just don't have to worry about sweepers? I got to overextend like that. Or Judgment's their only sweeper. And once they once they tapped under where they weren't going to have Judgment plus Deny because they played that 6 drop, then we got to go in on it. Yeah, this is yeah, this deck's good. Yeah, this deck's definitely good. Um I think it's it's I'm not sure if it's better than Team of Wayfinder, but you know, it's it's kind of on on that level like um That's very bad. That's very bad. Alright, well this... This game's over. Magic has no place here. I need that, you know, 5-5 five, five creature, whatever we we're going to get. Play towards Ruination by not playing anything this turn. Which maybe I should should have done. So I play, yeah, so this turn I play back-to-back, -back. next turn I play Ruination, then I untap Ruination. What's the point of playing back-to-back? -back? Keeps both of my things alive. And creates a detain. Will 
bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. The problem is, how do I stabilize after ru ruination when I'm at two? That's the problem. I actually probably can't just play ruination. Alright, come on, play something. Let me play Ruination here. Play something. We will not no! I think my turn 5... Should have been spent playing nothing and, and having setting up turn six for an ancient. I, th I think that's what I needed to do. I think playing playing that four drop on turn five, I well, I thought was the right play at the time. How the game played out, I think that was a mistake. It's usually difficult to set up the ruination turns that early because it's fairly obvious and um, easy to re rebuild from when it's that early, but. I think that was the line I had to take. Sorry about that. Pass the turn. <clears throat> one friend for each crab I saw today. Don't see very much inspiring mentor around these days. Ever saw ever since it got My is yours. ever since it got changed. We're gonna to want to keep vengeance available. Without a sound. Honor guide me. Gonna to want to keep vengeance available for move, go. um ah. for 
for it for a Hecarim. Yeah, our opponent's playing Ephemeral Acro. Come on, Radiant Guardian. No. Wrong one. Man, this is rough. I don't have the Man of Revengeance this turn. This has got to be me just dead. I need that Radiant Guardian. Oh, this thing doesn't even survive. I should, should have done it on the other one. Too. That's a good card. It's also a good card. Be going for the win. Okay. Looks like we got this. Depending on what they got for one mana. Hopefully nothing. Attack. Attack. It's kind of the problem with ephemeral stuff. You don't get to block. Only attacking, not blocking. But yeah, see, like, the, the Mage Seekers can just kind of win the games on their own. Like, they're pretty powerful. You know, like, two mana for a 4-3. Like, once once you turn, you know, once you really enable them, they're really powerful. Two mana, 4-3 Challenger. Four mana, 6-5. Those are above the curve. Above the curve.
and playing into Avalanche. <clears throat> but I feel like if they had, you know, Avalanche against this, like they would have mulliganed Avalanche. A chill in the air. Um not exactly sure which Lux deck is the best one. Magic must be stopped before it I don't know. I you know I can say you know like this one or another one, but I'm honestly just not sure. I think they're all pretty close. I think Rekindler does work great with uh, Lux. Those two cards do work really well together. I want the creatures to die whenever Thresh is out, so that Thresh can see them die. They're up two cards on me. Now they're just up one card. Make the attack a little worried about... Um, nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Do have to be, like they're they're definitely a ruination deck. So that's something that we need to be mindful of. Mana. Magic has oh wait, now I only have eight. I can't play back to back and detain. Yeah, I probably should have glimpsed the 3 2 instead because of Isle Feast. Yeah, I thought about that like right after I did that. Put an end to magic. All right, sacrificing this thing so that Thresh will be leveled up. 
So future Threshes. Thresh that we get with Rekindler. Will now be leveled up. Well, I guess I guess Thresh also just doesn't die. So that's not bad either. So two ways to go, go about this. I can have... I can do nothing and just play Rekindler. I can... Detain... Have the Thresh detain the other thing, then the Thresh dies, then this comes back and I just get Detain again. Um, or I have the, th you know, do Detain the other way and just have the Thresh hidden behind this thing. I think I just let Thresh die and play Rekindler. I feel like that's a good, op good option. Sweet. Because then Thresh attacks, puts Lux into play. Things are going good. All right, we ranking back up. Told y'all we'd rank back up. This deck's good. Rekindler is great. Lux is great. Thresh is great. Mage Seekers are great. Everything's great. Everything's great. Don't need Rekindler turn one, though. <clears throat> Wait, did I just say I don't need Rekindler turn one? That's a pretty tough 5-5. Five five. Um, <clears throat> they could have Standalone. It would be that card here to have Fiora kill that. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of feel like the the Bannerman, yeah, Bannerman plus stuff is probably the best deck right now. Yeah, probably. No 
closer. Counter and strike. Can you stomach this? No, there's there's nothing that just beats it consistently, no. Fjord doesn't have any kills yet. We have him down to six right now. For the glory of Demacia. Playing Thresh so Thresh can start seeing some of the stuff die. They just didn't didn't block my six power attacker when they were at six. A little too focused on other stuff. So I, I was like I could play the back to back, but then you know like at the time like they're not they're not doing any of the blocking or you know not not worried about that. I was like I don't don't want them to realize that that's coming through, and so I just you know said that's okay. Thrush can die. I rekindle her anyway. And so they just took the six. And we're five and one. How many, hey, over, over hamster, how many uh, champions do you have overall? Car you know, crafting karmas and threshes are not not a bad not bad cards to craft. Karma is. So I'd say like so I would say like that's pretty you know those are pretty good cards to craft but. Um, karma is. Okay, and you're okay. So yeah, if you already have a bit over half of them, and then I guess those would take up. Um. And so yeah, you have your your twelve thousand. Shards and a wild card. So that would be your three what karma you and two thresh. Yeah, I think you can do it. Mages can't hide from me. My cause is right. That makes sense too, though. You know, like if you have two Z, two Lux. So, you know, like you want to have a, a third Z or a third Lux. Um, I 
That would also make sense to to wait then. Ouch. This could be bad for me. Okay. I like I like these draws. Especially the Vanguard Sergeant. I like being able to play that next turn. Like if they try to, you know, if they kill my 3-1. Um, I just have one extra mana. All magic is dangerous. So too are mages. Watch and learn. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. No, they have Thermogenic Beam. Darn. Uh, I was going to back-to-back these. Turn on the Challenger, kill the Ezreal. Their only card was, back, was Thermogenic Beam to save them, but Thresh is a good draw. That can challenge Ezreal. For one. Where there is life, there is hope. The sun is shining. We should too. All all this light and sun shining, everything. Probably just don't block. I have six, seven, eight. So that's two mana for Lux. So if I play a Detain, that'd be another five.
Does Lux have the most in insequential level up in the game? Just plus one, plus one difference. You get the spark no matter if she was leveled before or not. Um... Yeah, like, I was gonna say, like, you do get the final spark. I mean, you, you get the final spark. I guess if, if you don't, if you don't count the final spark, I'd say, like, the card that seems to get, like, the least from leveling up is, like, uh, it's, like, Vladimir. Vladimir doesn't seem to really get much of anything at all. I don't think I want to detain. Trump won't be there. If my opponent's winning this game, the Lux dies, and so if the Lux dies, I want the other card to come back and have a get a free detain again. If the Lux doesn't die, my opponent's not winning. Likely. Fair enough. Stand back. I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? Steal over sorcery. Humility before power. There's where there's hope, there's hope. This was a good turn for them. All that burst speed. They're up to max cards in hand now at 10. I think this was a good turn for them.
passion, not anger. Discipline and steel. Like, did I have a Thresh die this game? Like, I don't think Rekindler does anything, as far as I know. Oh, I did have a Thresh die this game. Oh, I've, I've been under the impression that that card wasn't going to be doing anything. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Soldiers to me. Oh, that's true. The rekindler was growing, so I should have known that something was up because the rekindler was growing. That's true. I got the barrier up for it, but this place reeks of foul magic. The order rewards the faithful. We march. Excuse you. See, got another detain. Need to purify Ezreal. Like, Ezreal is the only card that's going to kill me, but it can definitely kill me. What's the card I need to be worried about? I'm hoping just to untap and attack. If they would have played if they would have played something else and tapped out, instead of me playing the Inciter, I would have detained this and purified like my creature so they wouldn't get their karma back. Now we have the detain purify combo. I thought you'd never ask. I don't like burst speed. By force of will. Yeah, I think my, my opponent just didn't think about attacking. But they may need, they may, you know, yeah, they could have attacked and could have cast Mystic Shot, but they may need that two mana this turn. Unclear. Yeah, they could like miss Mystic Shot at like my three two. Or me. I 
No, because yeah, right after they played the Ezreal, they didn't have the 10 cards anymore. So they still have five. So they still have five mana. This is... Ezreal's not flipped, so it's not doing damage to me. Or wait, will it? Okay, so wait, this is going to target... Gosh, this is not easy to see. That's targeting these two, which will flip Ezreal. And then this targets... Me. And then this targets... Those two. And that targets me. So this is, this is me taking three, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I don't try to do anything. This is me taking 12. Uh, this is them taking lethal. So I can just pass. Because this is them taking lethal. And me taking 12. <laughs> Check me So I don't have to like play a detain and have other stuff go wrong. Six and one. Jeez. All right, Ezreal Draven Control. I like this hand. I like turn three Remembrance, turn four Protector Persuader. I like that. Oh, that'd be better if we were attacking on turn four. But we're not attacking on turn four. Uh, do I want the back to back? Jack. No, we'll push it. We'll push it back. Yeah, I've, I've never played a game before with this Oracle Eye, and so I, I it's going to take a long time to get used to that. I do all the math stuff myself. Used to doing that for the past, you know, ten years. <laughs> it's it's better suspense if we're not using the eye. I want the five five tough. Five five tough. Come on, build it like Ford. Yeah. That card is tough. No. Build Ford tough. Dad. Yeah, I guess I should have called for the challenger. I thought it was going to be difficult for them to kill that thing, but I guess not. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. You're covered. Okay. They got removal spells. We're still doing just fine. Yeah, this is definitely the yeah. As Dra Draven is definitely the way to go after the Elnux, getting 
El Nux getting nucked. Oh, just a little spitter. How spitter? All right, challenger. Challenger. No, the guardian. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. Put on me mask, secure me tail. The puff cap cards are cool. They're fun. Stand in judgment. You have no alibi. Uh, excuse you. Still got their five mana. Or, sorry, not five mana. Five cards. They still have their five cards. That's what I meant to be. That's what I was meant to be saying. All right, so we got one more card in hand than they do. And we have a 5-3 and a 4-3 in play. Okay, well. Now we're like even again. Nux. Obviously, I'd rather play Tracker before Lux, but in case they went to combat with the Draven, I want to have the Lux do some blocking. Gonna make it more difficult to combat. And I can pretty freely block with Lux. Darn. So because of Rekindler, but now I can't. I guess I can't just take it all even though I want to. Even though I want to. I want to take. I want to have my Persuader detain the Radiant Guardian and Radiant Guardian come back as a life linker after Persuader dies. Stay back. But then that only takes five mana, and Lux doesn't get a final spark at five mana.
They're gonna have so they have Noxious Guillotine. Kill a damaged unit. Since they have Noctis Guillotine, I have to keep Detain available. Do it the other way and just let the Lux die, and then I get the Radiant Guardian back as the 5 5. That's not damaged. Yeah, I should I should be detaining the other way. Right now I'm having Lux get detained, and right and I should have Lux be doing the detaining. Yeah, I, I did this the wrong way. Yeah, I was having the 5-1 take the Lux, but I should have had the, the Lux take the 5-1 and just let Lux die, but then the 5-1 would come back as the, five, you know, Radiant Guardian would come back um, with lifelink. It'd be a 5-5 lifelinker, then it wouldn't die Check me to Noctis Guillotine. All they have to do is draw any spell and I die. Sure. So we need them to draw a unit. We need them to draw a unit. If it's a spell, I lose. Uh, it's a spell. Darn it. That's too bad. Close game. Oops. I mean, honestly, like that detain play that the detain play is why I lost that game. If I would have detained the other way around, I would have won that game. Because I would have had the five five life linker. The deploy the the detain play cost me that. Went the went the wrong way. I guess it doesn't really like they would have bolted the thing in. They would have bolted the thing anyway in in. No, I'm not. But they would. I guess they would have bolted the thing in response anyway. 
So it actually didn't matter which way I went. I did not I did not click the the Lux first with it. Okay, so actually it wouldn't have mattered either way. I just should not have been playing Detain. I need to play my other stuff that turn. Like, I could have played, like, Rekindler and other stuff like that that, that turn. Thresh. Other cards like that. Correct, yeah, with the get excited, I could never get anything anyway. My, cause is right. you have no alibi. My plan was to have the 4 3 kill this, but changed the plan after the bannerman. Didn't trade here, of course, because we have the Bright Seal Protector. I'm actually here. I guess I have to be worried about judgment. Judgment would be a huge problem. Yay, no judgment. Definitely see them having some frostbite spells. You can see get excited. Or sorry, uh, back to back. Um, you know, harsh winds, anything like that. Put them down to two. We'll see if that's too much damage for them to have, or if that's too little. Back. 
Oh, I feel like if they had Elixir of Iron or Roman Hawks, we would see those already. Eat up, friend. What's the point of making that tough? Oh, it gained the extra one from the war chefs. Right. Alright. I couldn't trade with the Cythria because, you know, I had Fearsome. They have F Fiora Garen. Alright, seven and two. Mage Seeker Thresh. Doing great, getting us back up. Getting back up towards where we started. And one more match tonight. Looks like Spooky Karma. Sure is. It's the bad version of Spooky Karma without Thresh. But this thing's gone. I don't want them to have Deny. Please don't have Deny. Please don't have Deny. <laughs> Why is this deck doing better than Puffcap deck? It shouldn't be. Puffcap deck was the best. That was a fun video, yeah. Did you get to did you get to see that one? Were you were you lurking during the the Teemo Wayfinder? It was we had a lot of fun with that, especially like the first few few games. Big bold letters. This is slow. We're like, I know. I know it's slow. Uh, do your stupid thing. Ah, I got in for Crimson Mentality. Oh. Not at the right time, but yeah. Watch it later on YouTube. How do you like how do you like having the, the music for YouTube now? Is that a pretty good upgrade? Cool, it is. Cool. Let's see. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. You can have like the legend like this the Legends of Runeterra game music like this. This is this is acceptable, you know, having like the the copyright music that I was like playing before, can't have that. But just like the the game music, this is you know, it's part of the game. It's it's allowed. Five five is gonna be problematic. It is gonna be problematic.
This karma is even more problematic. <laughs> Ruination is la rune. <laughs> yeah, that is really cool that you're... I don't know why your... Uh, why your plugin is in French. You know, like why the overlay is in French for you, but... That's pretty sweet. Yeah, if I detain the 5-5, five five, it does come back out as ephemeral, yes. So I guess that would be a good target to d detain. time so close to leveling up thrash so close because if we level up thrash then each time we rekindle or bring back a thrash attack with it we put a lux in play Thresh only needs to see one more creature die. That's it. Um, I would say that the aggro decks are we'll bring peace one of our weaker matchups, honestly. Come on, no deny. Let it happen. What are you doing? Don't do that. No. We were denied. No. We were denied, Harvey. Oh, that's pretty good. Come on in, Lux. We can do this. We sure can do this. Could be the second karma. Which would be absolutely amazing if we get rid of two karmas. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing getting rid of two karmas.
Now they only have one Karma left, so they can't have, like, you know, even if they get, like, their third Karma, they can't have, you know, like, the Inside of Ages to give them all those spells and everything. I definitely think they have ruinations. Right now, the Thresh is a 4-6, so we, we do rekindle her back Thresh, not Lux. If we cast a 6-mana spell and level up Lux, then we'll be getting back Lux. I would rather get back Thresh, I believe. Expecting Ruination. Oh my gosh. Vengeance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Laroon. This could be bad. We have death mark. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Attacking for 11. Oh, it's not even my attack turn. Oh, then I shouldn't have played Rekindler when I did. But, um... Alright, that works. Come here, are you, like, you going to complain? Or are you going to jump up here? Pup. Pup. Come on. There you go. Hmm. No, I need to lower this camera. More pup. What should we do? Just pass. What's up, Soda? How you been? We're in a intense. Legends of Runeterra game here. Waiting on the opponent to do stuff. Stand strong. I knew. Now I have cool head 
steady hand, unwavering heart. I was hoping they were going to cast Ruination. Still want them to keep casting that card. Thought about going Protector on this thing so that then they don't gain life. All right, cool. These are some big creatures, pup. Do I challenger lifelink or karma? I see lifelink. You have no alibi. You have no alibi. Doing it first. So they gain six life, go to 20. So they only get to gain three life. So this block puts him down to two. All right, have a good night. Have a good night, Rex. <laughs> yeah, you're first on today. See if you make it again tomorrow. All right, down to two. I knew. Now Cool head, steady head, unwavering. They don't seem to be playing towards ruination. Their deck does have a whole lot of life gain, though, especially with Karma. You know, if they start playing Grass, the Undying, Withering Whale. This is my cause. That kind of stuff. I don't think they have much direct damage, though, right? Hmm. I'll still block. I protect my own. So many lifelink creatures. Welcome back, Scarface. Go for silver to gold. There you go. Nice. I am trying to finish off this last game here. Finish 8-2. and two. That's what I'm trying to do, but... It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy one. Another withering whale, that'll be a huge blowout. 
I'm going for taking out Karma. Okay, Karma's gone. All their stuff's gone, they're down to two cards. I could still play Rekindler. that thing I really don't want to magic has no place here don't like detaining their thing oh ruination messes this up no I shouldn't have played this I forgot to get double ruination no, they get the two ruinations. Oh, I was thinking just the one ruination, and you know, we would detain. I think a double. Should have just attacked. Should not have played the Rekindler. Should have just attacked. Let the light guide you. Probably isn't worth playing Lux first, just seeing if they if I could bait out removal and stuff with Lux, but it just probably wasn't worth playing Lux first. No more ruinations. No more live. Alright. Uh eight and two. Eighty percent. It's a good deck. I like this deck. This is a fun one to play. I just, I like Thresh, like Rekindler, Rekindler Lux, Rekindler Thresh, Thresh putting in Lux like this. It's pretty sweet. And then like these Mage Seekers are just awesome. Like the stuff you get to do with Detain. Um, you know, like these, these Mage Seekers are just really powerful, uh, especially after we played the six mana spells. Back to back's a really good six mana spell. Um, pretty underrated spell still. Um, yeah, this deck's solid. This deck is solid. It may be better than the other version of Mage Seeker, the Mage Seeker Lux that I played on a Sunday. This this version may be better, honestly, than that. It, it feels better playing it than the Heimerdinger version, but um, yeah, like I, I, liked how, I like how this deck feels. 
all right but there we go so that's mage seeker thresh so those of y'all watching on youtube uh one thank you very much two hope you hit that like button and to leave a comment those likes and comments really help and three uh donation decks are ten dollars we got one donation deck for tomorrow build a yasuo deck but if you want your deck played on stream just it's just ten dollar donation the link's down below if you're watching on youtube and uh you know to send the deck code whatever you know and then um and i'll and what day you want me to play it and i'll play it then or if you want me to build a deck for you i will do that also still the same ten dollar price just tell me what you want me to build you know like uh give me some parameters um and then i'll play your decks over in ranked play 10 matches with it uh so it's like a dollar dollar a game there all right but that's that's it here for mage seeker thresh so thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you for the next video